Good day YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Hot Sauce Review. Today we're looking at a mild sauce. This sauce is actually well known to most people. Most people have probably had it. I never have. Of all the sauces I've done, I've reviewed over 120. I own like another 110. I've never had this one. Never had it. This is a, a hot sauce that was uh, purchased by me from Chili Chili's in Manitick, Ontario. Again, a great product. Well, a great shop with a great amount of products. And they do deliver. That's the best part about it. They have an online site. They deliver. It's a great place to check out. This is Blair's Sweet Death Sauce. Now, Sweet Death is the uh, weakest of his death sauces. So we'll open up the top here. Read the back. Um, suggested uses wings, glazed fish, pizza, dipping sauce, burritos, burgers, or anything you desire. Ingredients vinegar, corn syrup, honey, mango, passion fruit, sugar cane, uh, habanero peppers, carrots, modified cornstarch, tomato paste, onion, lemon juice, salt, cayenne pepper, excorbic acid. Um, allspice, garlic, cloves, and black pepper. Um, then underneath that it says, contains absolutely no preservatives or artificial ingredients. Well, vinegar is kind of the preservative in it. Let's, let's, vinegar is in there to preserve it and to open up your taste buds and everything else. Uh, artificial ingredients. It is true. Exorbic acid is natural. So is modified cornstarch. However, in my and so is corn syrup. However, in my mind, to be cons I, and I know that everybody's different. And in all honesty, that claim is true. But an artificial ingredient to me is something that isn't naturally just there. Corn syrup isn't naturally just there. Modified cornstarch isn't naturally just there. Exorbic acid isn't naturally just there. It's still natural because they didn't use any chemicals or anything to create it, but they did have to process it. So that's just my uh, my rant. I'm not going to say any of it's bad for you because really it's it's not that bad for you. I'm just saying that in my mind it shouldn't be considered fully natural when you can't just go out and pick it and it's there. That's all. That's all. That's just my little uh, rant about it. You can agree or disagree. I don't really care. I'm just saying my, my thoughts process on that. Feel alive. You know, for his ch for his lowest rated sauce, I didn't expect a habanero to be in there, to be honest with you. I expected, you know, uh, cayenne, Tabasco, uh, Anaheim, jalapeno, chipotle. Actually, chipotle is probably what I would have expected the most. Not a, not a sauce with a habanero in it when it's the, your mildest sauce. And your next mildest is the jalapeno death. Oh, that is... You wouldn't even know this is a hot sauce. Oh man. The allspice, which is one of the last ingredients, pops. It really does. I mean, where is it on the list? It is... It, all that's after it is black pepper, cloves, and garlic. Like... How does it pop that much? How does it pop that much? The mango's there as well. But it kind of smells... It. I, I know that Blair uses natural mango, so don't get me wrong saying that he doesn't, but it smells like that uh, processed mango that you'll get in like mango sauces at Chinese restaurants or Thai restaurants. Oh, but it smells so beautiful. Let's try it. Cheers. Allspice and mango is the majority of what you're getting. Cheerio. You know what? First and foremost, 
has a little more heat to it than I thought was going to be there for the uh, lowest rated heat sauce. A little more heat than I thought there was going to be. There's not much, but there's a little more. I mean, it's making my tongue tingle right now. It's coming back up. Sweet. See, and it's sweet, but it's not as sweet as I thought either. It kind of fades really quickly. You taste the mango a lot. The mango is actually there. It's actually helping make it a thicker sauce. The carrots help it make a thicker sauce. Um, is there tomato paste in here too? I don't remember. Yeah, tomato paste. Um, and the reason I was checking was because it is a lot thicker than I was expecting it to be. It really was. Um, and with corn syrup, I expected it to be a little, a little sweeter too. And and the honey, I mean, it's not. You don't taste passion fruit, and with everything that's in, well, I don't taste passion fruit, but with everything that's in here, like there's sugar cane, there's corn syrup, there's honey, there's mango, there's passion fruit. With all of that in here, um, I expected. It to be a lot sweeter. It's sweet, don't get me wrong, it is sweet, but it's not as sweet as I expected it to be. Um, I did another one of his sauces tonight, and I did the uh, the Chipotle Slam, and I actually like that quite a lot more than this. Can I use this on things? Yes, I can. It'll be a burger sauce, it'll be, I probably will actually use it to marinate a steak or something. Um, when my kids aren't here, when it's just me, I'll marinate something in it because it's just a, uh, it's a beautiful sauce and it's sweet enough that it would, uh, it would grill really well. It would grill right to the meat really well, but, um, it's just not, it's not what I thought I was going to get out of it. Um, out of 10, 7, 5, I might buy another bottle of it, but it's, it's probably my, uh, one of my least liked Blair's sauces. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Bye.